What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a Bradley Beal Philadelphia 76ers rebuild today. But before we get into this video though guys, I am moved into the new house so if anything sounds different or if anything looks different, uh, it's still a work in progress so bear with me on that. But if you guys could leave a like and of course subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for that. There was a report from CBS Sports that apparently the uh, Wizards and uh, the 76ers, or not the Wizards, the 76ers are willing to trade Ben Simmons for Bradley Beal. We all know Bradley Beal seems to be potentially on the way out of Washington. So I thought today we could go ahead and do a Bradley Beal Philadelphia 76ers rebuild up, uh, of course, because the trade deadline is coming up, which I'm sure we're all very excited for. So uh, basically the trade is nothing special. Uh, honestly, I really don't know what a trade would look like. I don't know who should be giving up more, but I did this. Obviously, this isn't the trade that would happen in real life whatsoever. There's going to be more draft picks involved. There's going to be a lot more involved in this, than just this. But what do you guys know? Or what do you let me know what you guys think? Do you guys think the Wizards should be giving up more or should the 76ers be giving up more? Personally, I feel like the 76ers would probably have to, you know, maybe throw a couple picks in here, but I'm not totally sure. I would love to hear what you guys think about a potential Bradley Beal to Philadelphia 76ers thing uh, happening in real life. So obviously we kind of just did a James Harden one recently. Uh, so I kind of wanted to see how this is going to look with Bradley Beal here now. So if we go ahead and take a look at the rotation as it sits now, we're going to have Maxi, Bradley Beal, Danny Green, Tobias Harris is another guy that the 76ers are trying to get rid of. Apparently they're trying to throw Simmons and Tobias Harris's contract together. Not really sure how that's going to work, but if they do decide, you know, find a way to get that uh, to happen, you know, shout out to Daryl Morey, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But look at the starting five. You got Maxi, Bradley Beal, Danny Green, uh, Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, Drummond, Seth Curry, Shake Milton, and Firkin Korkmaz. So uh, for this rest of the season, we're just going to go ahead and simulate and just kind of see how things go. I'm really excited to see what Bradley Beal brings to the 76ers team. Obviously, it's going to be more scoring and another guy to take pressure off Joel Embiid. But how is it going to look in 2K is the question we're going to be you know, asking today. So let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the season, see how things finish out. And hopefully uh, by the end of things, we're a contender here in the East with Ben Simmons gone and Bradley Beal here now. Additionally, today's video is sponsored by Prize Picks, which is a DFS player props app that's matching up to a $100 deposit when you use my code CRUSHBLES. Let me show you. Prize Picks is a DFS app where you're literally facing no one other than the numbers. You're just facing the projections. Let me show you some of my past entries. So on this one, I decided to do a power play where I decided to bet the over on Rudy Gobert and Harrison Barnes. The power play was able to three times my money and Rudy Gobert and Harrison Barnes were both able to hit, which mounted me to $150. On this one, I did a flex play with LaMelo, Fred VanVleet, Joe Harris, and Gordon Hayward. Unfortunately, Joe Harris was only... Like three points off. If he literally hit one of his threes, I would walk away with $100. So unfortunate, but that's just what happens. But I didn't walk away with nothing as I was still able to win $32 after only betting 21. So I didn't walk away with nothing. So you can decide whether or not you want to do flex plays or power plays. Feel free to use my link in the description. Of course, you can always ask me on Twitter if you have any questions and use my code CRUSHABLES when you sign up. So at the end of the season, Nikola Jokic goes on to win the most valuable player of the league. Kid Cunningham wins rookie of the year on the Detroit Pistons. Andre Drummond's sixth man of the year here on the 7th. 76ers, Giannis Fitz player, and Tyrese Maxey wins most approved. Shout out to him. And then Monty Williams, coach of the year, and Justin Taylor is your executive. So, I'll be a first team. Shea Gillis Alexander getting a nod here is actually really cool. So, that's awesome. James Harden, Giannis, Luka, Nikola Jokic. And here's your all NBA second team LaMelo, Murray, Butler, LeBron, and Bede. And here's your all NBA third team. So, uh, Bradley Beal did make it. I noticed that at the end of the thing. So, let's go ahead and look at the player stats real quick. We got 29 from Bradley Beal. So, like I said, he came over here and definitely took pressure off Joel Embiid when it was needed. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Daryl Morey should definitely be looking to trade Ben Simmons at the trade deadline. Let's not waste Joel Embiid's time, man. Let's get him a good, let's get him a player. I really do think it is very possible that a Ben Simmons thing happens. Ben Simmons rather be a thing happens at the trade deadline. It makes a lot of sense for both sides, but we'll see what happens. Then 25 from Embiid, 16 for Tobias Harris, 15 for Maxi, and uh, Drummond even had 13 and 11 for Shig Milton and 10 from Seth Curry. So obviously it's cool that we're into the postseason, but it's about how you perform. So let's see. How we're going to compete against the Cleveland Cavaliers who have Garland, Okoro, Osmond, Mobley, Allen, Kevin Love. Of course, uh, we got Colin Sexton out for the year and Rick Rubio was out for the year. So I don't even see Colin Sexton. Is he even on this team? Does he still exist on this team? Actually, it looks like he's healthy in this sim, which is okay. All right, let's go ahead and somebody current round against uh, Cleveland and see if we can beat them. Somebody current round and we are up three to one and we beat them in five. So that's a good start to this uh, playoff spot as we are going up against the Miami Heat now. So we got Miami. Let's see what they look like. Lowry. Old Depot, Jimmy Butler, PJ Tucker, Bam on about, and Tyler Harrow, of course. Uh, that usually isn't changed. So let's go ahead and somebody curve around against Miami and see how we match up. And we are going to beat them in seven. That was very close, but we thankfully squeezed it out. That game seven is with 116-100, so we were ready. 
Jimmy Butler, 18 points, but Bradley Beal, man, we traded for him and he came through. 6 to 12 from 3, 6 to 7 for the free throw line, and 34 points. And Joel Beat had 19 and 19 as well. So 116 to 100, you love to see it. And now we get to play the Milwaukee Bucks. Drew Holiday, DiVincenzo, Middleton, Giannis, Bobby Porters, Connington, Brooke Lopez, and Grayson Allen. Let's see if we can get to the NBA Finals. Somebody current round. And we are in the NBA Finals already. I don't even have to do anything. We're, we beat the Milwaukee Bucks in six. What do you guys think? Does Bradley Beal, you know, push the 76ers to the finals like this? Memphis, man, another really fun team, obviously. Um, let's see if we're going to beat the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, John Morant's not going to be an easy competition. So uh, we literally have nothing to lose. So I'm just going to go ahead and click something like current round. Things have been working so far, but this time we actually lose in five, unfortunately, to the Memphis Grizzlies. So shout out to John Morant and the Grizzlies. They take us down, and we only win one game in the finals. But you know what? The fact that we even got there is definitely a stride in the right direction. Because Philadelphia in the past has been eliminated in the second round or lower. So let's go ahead and and get all the way to the offseason and let's see what we can do to make this team even better so draft lottery time it looks like the washington wizards did not get into the playoffs which i wasn't really uh, taking a, a peek at earlier but they ended up with the second pick so imagine the wizards trade away bradley beal they get ben simmons and they also get the second pick in the draft in the lottery that would just be a huge turnaround it almost seems like a whole you know rigged thing we all know that nba has had some problems or some uh, rumors in the past that they rigged the lottery so it almost seems like that would be a, a rigged thing so let's go uh you know hire some staff if we're able to this may not let me it might say we need essential positions nope actually we're gonna be able to so post uh defensive coach as well so if you we get one of these guys we should be pretty good we'll sign ray simmons and then we'll sign the wing whisper that we were talking to uh, we have to lower his deal but he should sign it and we got our wing whisper so well, let's go to the draft now uh i don't really know what pick we have i was kind of you know looking at the wizards too much so you have the 24th pick in the draft we also have uh you know a little bit of salary that we could potentially trade away of course maxi uh you know tobias harris is probably going to be staying here i don't really know who would trade for his contract so he's probably stuck here in Joel and beat and of course i do like tobias harris as a third option not much of a second option but a third option i think he's really solid and then obviously he could be the fourth option behind tyrus max if you want him to so i really don't think there's a need to trade tobias harris unless if you can just get better somehow which not really sure where that would come from but uh you could maybe do it i don't i don't know actually i was just about to spit something out but i don't think that would make sense so let's go to the draft and see if we can get at number 24. so in the 24th pick in this nba draft let's see what we can grab so we got caleb houston on the board window Moore, dang we got bryce mcgowan's window Moore. okay kenny chandler i'm gonna draft kenny chandler always seems to fall in the draft and uh, is a really good commodity so we're gonna go ahead and take him here and then gene montero we got Jovic, who I'm also going to take here with my second round pick. And just like that, I feel pretty good about coming out of the draft with Jovic and Kenny Chandler. Welcome to the team. And then we got Bradley Beal as a free agent. I'm going to accept Danny Green. Every six years, every 76 rebuild, I always accept Danny Green just because that $10 million could come in handy as far as the trade is concerned. So uh, first thing is first, obviously, we need to uh, re-sign Bradley Beal. We traded for him, so it would be such an L if we decided to lose him in free agency. So we're just going to go ahead and offer him. The extension that we need to we'll offer that to him and he has no other offers so he should accept this so we're going to get bradley beal back of course and that is a huge w so bradley beal welcome to philadelphia welcome back so bradley beal is locked up he's going to be playing with joel Embiid probably for uh, the rest of his prime and they got kenny chandler shake milton maxi bradley beal seth curry isaiah joe Kirk cork mass danny green yovich and then tobias Harris, george nang uh joel Embiid, charles so honestly i can't help but notice that there's so many salaries and i think if we found ourselves like a legitimate forward whether that's a small forward or a power forward, I think this team would be almost complete. So let's go ahead and try to make that happen. Let's just take a look around the league, see who's available. The last time I did a uh, 76 rebuild, I traded for OG and Anobi. Today, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do something different. That way we change it up a little bit and see what's potentially available for us to get around the league as far as maybe someone's rebuilding, selling. Let's even get a legitimate small forward here, here in Philadelphia. Do you know try to complete this team as a championship roster so the guy i'm going to be trying to go for is jeremy grant here on the detroit pistons so that's just going to bring in another legitimate forward who could obviously score play a little bit of defense not a crazy amount obviously jeremy grant the rumors have been said that grant wants to be part of a team where he's still like the number one option which doesn't make a ton of sense to me i don't know what this guy see. i mean like i get being confident in yourself but you have to realize that you know there's not a lot of destinations that would be willing to trade for you and then build around you uh and as your number one option i just don't think that's a, a thing i'm sorry it's just not so danny green seth curry a 2023 unprotected and charles for jeremy grant is what i'm trying to make happen in detroit pistons do agree so we get jeremy grant to become our brand new obviously i don't i don't know what option he would be but he's just gonna be another score on the roster and that honestly gives us a very very interesting lineup since uh, obviously from the jimmy butler days when philadelphia had him so you can either move tobias harris or jeremy grant to 
small forward, power forward. I might just move Jeremy Grant there. It really does not matter. I mean, you know, NBA has become a little bit positionless. So Maxi, Shake Milton, Bradley Beal, Isaiah Joe, Firkin Korkmaz, and Jeremy Grant. You got Tobias Harris, George Nang, and then Joel Embiid. So obviously, you kind of need a little bit of retool bench. Uh, but what we can do is we can move Shake Milton to shooting guard. And we could honestly have Kenny Chandler just thrown into the mix right away. So he could be our backup point guard. You have Shake Milton as a backup shooting guard. You got Firkin Korkmaz or Jovic as a small forward. So really, we just need a big, uh, whether a power forward or a center. So you got Whiteside, who actually might be the guy I'm going to go for. I'm going to sign Hassan Whiteside to kind of be that Andre Drummond that we just had last year. Uh, you know, Whiteside can be better defensively when he does try sometimes he just is lazy out there but with jeremy grant here now in philadelphia what does that make our team look like does that make us better does that make us worse i don't see how it would make us worse but you know in 2k you just never really know what things so we got george Nane going down wide side going down which makes sense but that's fine so let's go to next season let's go ahead and take a look at what a rotation is going to look like here in philadelphia now that we have jeremy grant bradley beal tobias Harris. the starting five would be you know a, fi a starting five that would give any team problems on any given night anybody can score 20 any given night which is what you want to have so take a look at it you got maxi bradley beal grant tobias harris Joel Embiid, cork mass shake milton whiteside and paul reed is going to be the backup power forward i guess so that's fine now if you take a look at the proficiency we are sitting at a four star post centric um, but if we move this to a balanced or even maybe even seven seconds we're going to move this to a balanced system we're going to run this out of balance system and we're going to simulate this season now that Jeremy Grant is here in Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and see how this is going to look. I'm excited. I really think this has the potential of winning it all, but you never really know with this game. Let's just see what happens. At the end of season number two, John Morant wins MVP, 28 points, seven rebounds, nine assists. Paulo wins rookie of the year on the Indiana Pacers. If the Pacers were able to land him, that would be really good for them. Drummond, sixth man of the year on the Timberwolves. So Drummond's become a bona fide sixth man, I guess, on some teams. Rudy Gobert, defensive player, Emmanuel quickly, most approved on the Knicks. And then you got Chris Finch, uh, coach of the year. And then Jacob Park is your executive. So it looks like the Minnesota Timberwolves were pr uh, quite pretty good. So we got John Morant, Lamelo, Giannis, LeBron, Jokic on NBA first team. Take a look at the NBA second team, Chris Paul, Shea, Tatum, Paul George, Embiid. And here's your NBA third team. So no Bradley Beal this time, it looks like. But did get Embiid on the all NBA second team. So that's good. And all offense first team and all defensive second team. So uh, looks like we were the fifth seed once again, kind of back where we just were. We take a look at the player stats. We had 24 from uh, Bradley Beal, 21 from Embiid, 14 from Maxi, 14 from Grant, and 13 and a half from Tobias Harris. Nine from Corkmaz, nine from Shake Millen, seven from Whiteside, and seven from Paul Reed. So uh, a little bit of a disappointing season. I would have loved to have been higher in the standings. I would love to have home court advantage here in the first round. We went 45 and 37, tied with uh, the Pacers, the Cavaliers, and then the Hawks and the Wizards here were in the play-in. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can uh, beat the Charlotte Hornets here in the first round. We have Lamelo Ball, obviously. So. Let's see if this Jeremy Grant trade was worth it. Obviously, we did this to uh, surround Embiid with more talent. We're trying to capitalize on his prime and win a championship. Let's see if we're able to do just that. So I'm going to current round, and we are going to beat the Charlotte Hornets in six games, which is good. Now we get to play the Boston Celtics. Anthony Simons, Jalen Brown, Tatum, man. If Boston landed Anthony Simons, Portland better not let this man go. I do not care about, obviously, trying to win a championship here in Portland, but... Anthony Simons is a guy that you just can't let go of. It looks like a really good talent, and I would love to see him in Portland for a while. So hopefully they end up paying him and not letting him walk. Obviously, they have a lot of guards they're already paying. So let's trade one of those guards and keep Anthony Simons. Not Damian Lord, though. Trade uh, CJ McCollum or something. All right. So Philadelphia with Anthony Simons. Uh, or not Philadelphia. Boston with Anthony Simons. And Simons up to an 88 overall. So it looks like 2K might have updated him, which I didn't even notice. But let's go ahead and semi current round against, Phil or against Boston. And see if we can beat them and we are going to beat them in five so oh my goodness we're almost matched up to another philadelphia versus memphis uh nba finals potentially we've got drew holiday david chinson milton Giannis, bobby porras old depot and brooke lopez game by game they're up one to zero for game one they're up two to zero uh milwaukee actually may not let this happen this time around even series actually okay three to two for us and it looks like we might win four straight we do and this time we get to play the pelicans and not the bucks so okay so not Mil or not the Pelicans or not the not the Grizzlies I should say we're playing the Pelicans instead. So Graham Hart Ingram Zion Valentinas Martin Hayes Alexander Walker Herbert Jones and Willie Hernan Gomez. All right, let's go game by game here. Game one, they're up one to zero. So it is the Pelicans. So uh, obviously a little OP in this game. So you never really know what can happen. Game two, we even it up. All right, so even series 28, 27, and then 30 from a B, 26 from Harris. So Tobias Harris stepped up in game two. Can he step up in game three? We're up two to one. 24, 25, uh, 15, and Tobias Harris actually had a double-double. So we'll take that wide side with 11 and four off the bench as well. 
Do we go up three to one? No, even series two to two. And let's see if we can uh, take the game. F uh, yes, we do. All right, game six. This is an important one. We can celebrate in front of our home fans here and win this championship. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on, come on, 2K. Let's get it, baby. Let's uh, let's celebrate in front of our home fans with this title. It's a very, very close game, but it's looking like it's probably going to go to a game seven, barring a comeback. And we're going to a game seven, 135 to 122. Game seven in New Orleans. They have the home court advantage. Can we please get Joel Embiid a championship? Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's beat this Pelicans team and embarrass them on their home court. It is a very close back and forth game. It looks like they're going to run away with it, though. 89 to 105, barring a comeback. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, they won. 126 to 139. Went to a game seven, and we lost. The Pelicans go on to win it all. So it looks like we have a little bit more work to do. The bench is going to get better. We could probably sign a mid-level guy as well this offseason. I want to keep the starting five intact. It was able to get me to where I want them to be. But unfortunately, a disappointing ending. Game seven loss to the Pelicans. Uh, we do not have a draft pick this offseason, obviously. So let's go ahead and get uh, to filling out the staff a little bit. Keep our staff around. Doc Rivers got us to the finals. Almost won a championship. So let's go to the draft now. Don't believe we have a first round pick here. I think we traded it in the Jeremy Grant trade, obviously. You have three seconds, but... To be honest, today, probably not going to worry about the three seconds too much. We're just going to go straight to rookie signing and sign all of our second rounders. And then player options and Maxi Jovich will accept. Then qualifying offers, Paul Reed, Isaiah Joe. And then for free agency, obviously want Jeremy Grant, Shake Milton back for sure. So let's go ahead and give Jeremy Grant an extension. Let's get Shake Milton extension. Uh, so we'll get Jeremy Grant back on where he used to be paid. And let's get Shake Milton, like I said, some money as well like him as a bench piece going forward so we've signed both of them that's a w so we get both of them back now do we have a mid-level to use we looks like we have a little bit of one and i have someone else i could sign back so chandler should develop a little bit more and milton bradley beal which is great you got uh freaking cork maz and then jovich and we sign or draft another small forward uh so i'm cool with the small forward position but the big the big man position is kind of where we're lacking so uh paul reed could be that guy for us technically we also have a, you know, a couple centers here, but nobody too great. So I think we're just going to use our money. We have a bird rights, I think. So we could technically just maybe draft or sign a center. Maybe bring Okafor back to the Philadelphia 76ers. No, thank you. Brooks from the G League. We got Ennis Freedom, Tristan Thompson, Alex Randolph, Chris Silva. Uh, we could sign Whiteside back. Honestly, man, I don't really think any of those guys are worth it. We're going to just run it back with Paul Reed. So we have a lot of young pieces that I think are going to be able to get us to where we want to be. So let's go to player progression. Let's see how this is going to treat us. Kenny Chandler, Maxi should all go up. So Kenny Chandler is up to a 77. Maxi's up and no one's going down too much. Bradley Bill did go down and just didn't show it. Uh, but we're running it back, basically. It's going to be kind of the same rotation. Just kind of hoping that this time the marbles fall our way. So let's see what happens in this third and final season. Um, hopefully this year we actually win it all. Take a look at the rotation one last time. Maxi, Beal, Grant, Harris, and Bede. Cork Mass, Shake Milton, Kenny Chandler, and Paul Reed. So here we go. Proficiency wise, it's still a four star balance. Let's simulate this third and final season. And let's see if this year we can maybe be a higher seed, give ourselves a little bit more of an advantage. Let's even get to the finals three years in a row, but maybe this time actually win it all. So this time we're actually the third seed in the East, and Joel Bede goes on to win MVP of the league 23 points, 15 rebounds, six assists. Rookie of the year goes to Derek Lively, Jonathan Davis, six man, go Bears defensive player, and Patrick Ball, one most improved. And JB Bickerstaff is your coach of the year, and Brandon Harrison is your executive. So here's John Bay first team, LaMelo, Shea, Tatum, Zion, and Bead. Here's your all NBA second team with John Morant, Edwards, Giannis, Jimmy Butler, Jokic. And here's your all NBA third team, all defense first team, and all defensive second team. So here we go. Third seed in the East going up against the Charlotte Hornets. So we did beat last year, so hopefully we can repeat that. 23 from Embiid, 16 rebounds. He was the MVP of the league. So hopefully. Like I said, with this third and final season, this is the year we get it done. So I feel like we should beat the Charlotte Hornets team, but you never really know. So many current round, and we are down two to one, and we lose in seven to end this off. That is how my luck is. So went to the finals two years in a row, and then losing the first round of the Charlotte Hornets as the Cleveland Cavaliers go on to win it all. So that is where I'm going to end, to, uh, end things today, man. That is very, very unfortunate. But this was the final product that we put together and beat Brad the Beal, Tobias Harris, Maxi, Jeremy Grant, and for Court Maz, and then Kenny Chandler and Shake Milton. So the roster's not getting any younger, unfortunately. So here we go. We lose in the first round. So got to the finals two years in a row, but then lose. That is an unfortunate ending. But hey, thank you guys for watching. I definitely would love to uh, hear some constructive criticism about the new setup. If there's anything I need to fix, anything that needs to change, definitely let me know. 
down in the comment section below uh comment section below but for now this is the crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love